Hello everybody, it's Everhalt's Level 4 for another episode of Final Fantasy X HD. If you're wondering why I'm in the caverns of the Stolen Faith is because in between episodes I was doing a whole load of monster catching. You can tell by my sphere levels! <laughs> um, but, uh, last time on the bonus episodes, we got the world champion for Waka and unlocked it. Uh, this time, we are going to be going for Kimari's uh, Sparrow, uh, Celestial Weapon, and uh, if you're watching this, I guess in order on YouTube uploads, we just had the finale, so I can talk about it uh, if the topic comes up anyway. Uh, but the first thing we want to do is head to the Thunder Plains, where we're going to get the weapon we itself. Uh, very luckily, I have a variable mog that... I don't know how I got it, or don't remember where I got it, but on Lulu, that has no encounters. So we're not doing thunder, we're not doing the lightning dodging, thankfully, but we are avoiding encounters. Um, in order to get Kimari's Spirit Lance, you had to do that weird game with the uh, Cactar Stones that are around here. You like find the glowing one and then press uh, square, and then ow. Is this the... No, that's not the spot. There's a spot over here that's eventually going to be the, the lightning farming location. And oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, so what was I saying? I thought it was down here. Maybe it was, maybe it was up top. Um, so you had to do the Cactar Stone quest where you pretty much go around uh, chasing these little... There it is. Chasing these little Cactar ghosts. Ow! And um, Celestial Mirror seems to react, oh boy. Uh, chasing these little Cactar ghosts and eventually coming down over here, the, the ghosts lead you here, and you press triangle on this broken tower on the lower half of the Thunder Plains, and it gives you the chest here and it explodes and stuff. There's nothing in it. <laughs> oh. That's a good cutscene. I like that with Yuna's thing, obtain the spirit lands. I like the spirit lands a lot. I like with Yuna's thing, it was like, okay, here's a chest, we're doing a thing, and then Walker's is like, here's a family heirloom. Kimari is just Thunder comes down from the sky and bestows it upon you. It's good stuff. I can't wait to see what, uh, excuse me, what other, uh, cutscenes we get, I suppose. Now, for the crest and sigil, uh, Kimari uses the Saturn crest, or the Saturn stuff. Um,. Something that I think is going to be in the monster catching episode because I was in Thunder Plains monster catching But if you get struck by lightning like 200 times or something or like like a ridiculous amount uh, You actually get a pity prize of an elixir that's in a chest outside this place it's very funny. Maybe I'll just include it in here if I remember if not you'll see it then uh, but anyway um, the Saturn crest it was in that treasure chest right outside of where Seymour. Uh, we fought Seymour uh, on Mount Gagazette. Seymour... Omnis? Uh, but I may as well visit and show you just to show you what's what's going on with the Taranso. Uh, Seymour said that we were the last ones, which A is false because of the... Uh, or Kimari was the last one, which is A false because of the... Uh, team, <laughs> which was nowhere near her, and B, I mean, there's this characters here. You haven't shakes, but it's just too early to abandon teachings. Keep on, keep watch on changing of times and God, what value, what you value most. Ronzo sang the hymn for the soul, from soul, for warriors on flying ship. Ronzo, pray for success with the hymn to bring calm. Uh, I think there's one more down here to talk to. I mean, we may as well talk to the survivors, you know? Oh, there is not. Okay. 
But uh, the nice thing about Mount Gagazette is once you finish it, there is that this warp over here that will take you to like literally every different zone. It's great. In the hymn of faith was sung, loud rumble shook the mountain. Mount Gagazette sang with the Ronso. That's cool. How you doing, Mikan? Shall I tell you about the spear of days long past, eh? I don't remember if this is new or not. There is a legend. I'm gonna take a drink. Just before the horrible sin appeared, a terrible war raged between Bavel and Zanaka. When the armies of Bavel attacked Mount Gagazette, they heard a song echoing across the snowy slopes. It is a song from an other world. Yeah, that's the same episode. The soldiers panicked and ran. And then, as if to pursue the retreating armies, sin appeared. Some time later, scouts from the Vell braved the mountain. <laughs> On the other side, they witnessed the ruins that had been Zanakan. The city destroyed, not a single soul left standing, gone. In its place, a multitude of the faith had gathered on Gagazet. They were singing a song. It's the song we now call the Hymn of the Faith. <clears throat> and that, as they say, is that. Well, maybe not all of it. You know a lot more than most people, like, history-wise also, but that's, that's more privileged information. So it kind of sounds like Xanderkin summoned Sin to fight Pavel. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what we know. Ronzo always prepared to fight, always keep weapons and armor in top shape. Oh, wait, there's a shop here, that's cool. Well, that's nice, zombie strike and zombie- a uh, silent strike and zombie touch. Ooh, Berserk and Confuse Ward, that would have been really good for the area right after this. Uh, but anyway, you go on the warp here, you can go on the mountain trail. Which, I'm not going to be showing every single one because that's annoying. You can only warp back to the gate. But the mountain trail is like the halfway point over here. Excuse me. The... Um, cave entrance is by... I think by the Seymour fight. The cave ex... Or the cave entrance is the inside, isn't it? Uh, the cave exit is by the Seymour fight, I think. Now I don't remember. Great, now I'm gonna have to look at that. Also, uh, one, of, one of the Dark Aeons is in here, so don't... Yeah, this is actually where you fight it. Uh, so don't do one of the puzzles again. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but... Oh, right, no, this is way past all that. Okay, so it's probably more towards the cave entrance. If you just leave out the cave entrance, it'll show you where it is. I just want to get a look at this area again because it looks nice. Is this a treasure in here? We got the treasure in there. It just looks nice here. Um, but yeah, so you get the, the... What I was trying to say is that you get the sigil here, and Xanarkin looks really cool. And if I keep going, I'm just going to run, keep running into stuff. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's just go back and, <laughs> and warp back. Uh, but the the uh, sigil, the Saturn sigil, is in Makalania Woods, actually. So I'm going to meet you there before I sidetrack myself like a half hour out of the way just looking at this place. <laughs> Alright, so we're back here. <clears throat> we're going to be coming here a lot, aren't we? Um, the final, the thing that we need to do for Kimari to get the sigil is more butterfly catching. Uh, this one is, surprise surprise, the hardest one of them all. I think it actually spans multiple, um, screens, but I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the start over here. You don't even have that guy to tell you. You just have this butterfly, you accidentally run into it. And the chase is on. And we got into a fight. So I'm mainly just gonna keep 
Actually, you'd be good at this. I'm mainly just gonna keep like my main fighters in the party here. Uh, Lulu doesn't have to be in the fighting party <clears throat> in order to uh, have no encounters working. Not that it does any. Not that uh, there are encounters during the butterfly catching, but um, oof. What was I saying? Um, yeah, Lula doesn't have to be in the party, she just has to have the thing equipped. Ah! This is a very difficult one. Actually, I'm gonna take these off. Just missed. Just missed. So I'll just get back to the um, successful attempt, I suppose. I'm going to put World Champion on, because why not? I'm also going to put Yuna in the party so she can start leveling up, because why not? If we're getting into battles that we can't avoid, you may as well, you know? Music? Music? Hello? Hello? That's... that's different. I'm slightly scared. Oh, well, we got the victory music.
take that. Yay! Okay, so that's one. Um, the first one you do is on this screen with the guy kind of standing there. Oof. I got into two battles and I still got it. A teleport sphere. So this only... Uh, these, this challenge and the one on the screen that we were previously only appear after you get the airship, I believe. So uh, there are other ones that you can do like when you first get here. And then there's the one after you beat... Uh, stuff that you could do after the sphere morph that gets you like megalixes and stuff i don't remember if we did those but now we're going to going to do the one on the next screen the one on this screen was really annoying because very much mainly because uh that last one is literally at the screen transition so if you go too far you'll go off the screen and it'll cancel out your run uh, this one is sneaky, and you'll see why in just a second. Uh, the first, the first butterfly. The first butterfly is back here. <laughs> Look at that. Also, that's now red butterfly. Great. Anyway, successful attempt. <laughs> that was so close. That was only my second try. Uh, at least at this point, that was my second try. You know, I did do the first couple at the beginning, but for getting that, we get the Saturn Sigil. And very luckily, we're also in Makalani Woods, which means we're like right next to where we can unlock everything. So that was easier than um, I was expecting, which is really, really nice. But uh, let's go. Let's go unlock Kimari's weapon. Oof. I think next episode is going to be Oren's stuff, because I'm already done with the hard part of it, which means I can record it now and then work on some of the more annoying things. I think after Oren we're gonna do Riku. Because her thing isn't annoying, it just might, take, might take a while. Have you celestial weapons? Sarencrest. <laughs> weapons power has grown. <clears throat> so now it has uh, double overdrive or something, as they all do. Saturn sigil. Attained its maximum power! And what maximum power is that? It is. Drumroll, please. The Dragoon Lens is really nice, though. Break damage of it, triple overdrive, double AP, and evade and counter! Hooray! So, it's actually the same as Waka's? Yep, same as Waka, uh, but Evading Counter works really well for both of them, so yay. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, once again, we 
<coughs> are going to be getting the Masamune. I think it's the Masamune. <laughs> um, spoilers. I'm going for awesomeness. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.